think that was very beautiful what you just presented uh i think agua means uh, water if i'm not wrong and uh, that element was quite visible in the pictures that you shared and the that fluidity was something that i think all of us were able to connect to uh so we yes we will be opening the platform for question and answers uh, the participants as you are well aware you can use the chat box you can also use the activity section on the google platform to post your questions and i'm sure mr javier will be more than happy to address them and i'm expecting a lot of questions today because it was truly a very mesmerizing um presentation that you presented to us and at the end when you also gave us a good you know uh, like a glimpse of what your survey revealed in terms of the experience in terms of you know how uh, beautiful or how important the concept was i think that was something that grounded us to your idea and your dream very very well so uh, we will now move on to the questions and yes uh, there are a lot of feedback for you for example uh, some people are saying that you've inspired them quite well and some uh, are thanking you for you know uh, the example the uh, setting up an example of an experiential learning so that is definitely there so we have a question from deepa dogra i'll read it out it says uh how your students get feedback on their development in the cognitive or the creative growth yeah we in ojodeagua we don't make uh, regular evaluation people get feedback from the other people who they are working well with and they get feedback on the adult team too but we are not uh, focused in a regular model on of a uh, feedback or evaluation so when people need some feedback they ask for and we are loving loving do it but we only uh, give feedback if they if people ask for them All right I think that does answer the question for um, Deepa Dogra All right yes it does so she is also thanking you for the same Uh just a follow up question while uh, the audience posts over their question so is the feedback given by the individual teachers or various uh, administrators of the system the feedback could be from the peer group it could be oh. from uh, um, the teacher from the adults could be from the big community in the meeting there's some different ways in which one person can get a uh, feedback but it's not re- is is not institutional feedback we have no because we are not in a school we are we we, we can't uh, uh, give uh, educational certificates in and things like that we are we, we don't know we don't evaluate the performance of people we think that the best judge or the, the harder just judge is one uh, one oneself and we think that um, if, but if one if one people wants to get feedback we are loving to do it but only if they ask for i think that's a quite comprehensive way of looking at it you know you address the aspect of feedback so you do provide feedback you're not saying no but at the same time it is uh, the person seeks it so you know that the feedback will be implemented it is not forced it is something that the person wants to improve and inculcate in their lifestyle or in their learning and that's why they are asking and like you said you know you have peer groups you have teachers you have educators different people who can provide that feedback so i think that's a quite holistic way of looking at it yeah exactly right. in formal way uh let me just check if there are more questions coming in 
is the if um, yeah so um, deepa dobra is asking if um, how the merged curriculum is decided is it as per some standards or is there a national framework or is it something that is more open yeah okay thank you for this for this uh, question too emergence her the merchant what is emergent sorry my bad it was not merged it was emergent curriculum yeah the merged curriculum is an open curriculum in the in the in the beginning of the of the season for example we 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 begin in, in september in in the beginning of the season there is nothing no the first day people only have to uh, find each other and and get joy to be uh, together again but suddenly and quickly people begin to have ideas i would like to do theater i would like to do math or i would like to do carpentry or some other things and when people have these ideas they take a piece of paper write the thing that they want to do or learn put their name and the date in which they are putting this announcement in the in the in the, in the wall and uh, let a space that all in order that other people can write their name there when there is a group with uh, in in this interest we can suppose for example pottery um, one people one person of the team take the people and ask with the with the with the boy or girl who have the initiative and together they organize a meeting with all the people interested and in this first meeting they decide they they talk about about their interest if they all of them have the same interest or not and we decide wh what this group of people wants to do and later next step is to find a, a facilitator on this uh, uh, on this thing and well in the team in the community of parents or outside and when we have all of this we decide the the schedule of this act for this activity and this activity began and after usually after a week of the beginning of Ojo de Agua the the wall is plenty of demands and these demands are uh, some of them are academic like English French or I don't know uh, maths or uh, calligraphy or things that they can uh, learn in the regular curriculum the national curriculum but some others are not that for example uh, they are uh, in this moment uh, I have to make some memory of something no academic but for example there is a group of people interested in, in taking care in cleaning the the, the, the around the, the the path of Ojo de Agua is always with garbage and all of these people uh, every week get out go out to to the to the path and take the garbage and later they call to the to the to the, the town hall to to explain them we are we are collected all of this garbage please uh, do something with that or recently for example there is a group of people who spend more than three years in this moment with um, magic with cards with uh, yeah and they they are very high level they are learning a lot and they are making after two years they are making uh, some shows in 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 the street or in the bars in in, in close in close uh, uh, cities and these are some examples of academics and non-academics activities for us all the interests are the same important uh, academic or not or not academic okay 
I, 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 yes, sorry. Continue, continue. Yeah. No, I, I, I saw uh, uh, a more, uh, one more question about. Uh, yes, how... I will read it out for you. I'll read yeah. it out for you uh, for yeah. the rest of the audience as well. In terms of understanding of age-appropriate concepts uh, for math and languages, how do you teach basic numeracy and literacy without following a structure or a curriculum? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this uh, aspect, uh, our speaking is that's basic in math and language. Uh, people, children, don't ask for workshop or organize it structure acti uh, activities for basic numeracy and literacy. They all learn this in life a lot of times happens that they learn at home this or playing with some people uh, the basics of literacy and numeracy but when people wants to know more about this then they put uh, 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 they demand a workshop on that and when we have a, a, a very diverse group of people who wants to know about math we discriminate in depending on the level of one uh, of, of one of them and the age too so if we have a very diverse group interested in math maybe we can do different groups with different levels and with different interests maybe so in this way we can adapt the group uh, and have a more personalized uh, activity. I don't know if I respond with answer the, the question. Uh, yes, yes, it does answer the question quite beautifully. It has it clarifies a lot of things. That some that's something that our participant has also said. Um, we do have time for one last question in case anybody would like to post a question or unmute themselves, we can go ahead with it. I'll repeat. In case anybody wants to post the last question, we do have the time for it. So you can either type it out in the chat box or we can, uh, you know, you can unmute yourself and present it directly. Yes, so we do have, uh, we do have one question from the principal of RRIS asking, do you encourage the students interaction with students of other schools, including uh, foreign exchange? Yeah, of course. <clears throat> well, this is a this is a natural interest of people to know more people and different people. And uh, we we have some uh, some experience every year about contact with people with some other schools here in Spain. For example, every year we have some project on um, writing writing letters with some other people in other schools and it, um, finally they make a, a physical encounter not in this moment but in years before and uh, for example we participate in some uh, networks like um, IDEC and EUDEC no? Democratic Education International Network and the European a part of this um, of this network and we are in contact with some other some other schools in fact uh, for example le the last the last thing was an um, uh, in, uh, uh, interchange you no know, a, a travel to ukrainian visiting an ukrainian school and some ukrainian people coming to ojo de agua and change experiences and live together for a short time so yeah we do it we don't encourage but we 
see that this is a natural interest in in in, in young people, especially not 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 very young, but the the teenagers. Mm 